Hi traders, welcome to Elite Currency. My name is Chris. This video, we're going to take a look at the Euro dollar and pound dollar. All right, this is the Euro dollar and looking pretty bearish. We have two bearish candles. We have HMA down, we have the EMA downs and the EMA aligned to the downside and price is trying to break below the 21 EMA. So a pretty bearish story at this point. We also have a red fractal, red arrows, We've got pretty much all, everything in place. So I think that downside is likely from this point of view. That said, I do think that we are looking at a bigger range indicated by these trend lines right here. So the fall might challenge the bottom of that uh, or close to the bottom of that zone, for instance, in here, but we don't have to see a break necessarily. So there could be uh, maybe let's check the levels here, support zone coming in around 115 up to maybe 115.50, 115.75 perhaps even. So that is where price could uh, stop and bounce back up again. If we get a break to the downside, then of course things change and we might see a push down to 114.50 and that is another key level. So they're quite, you know, it's quite bunched up. There's quite a lot of support. I'm not saying that the downside will not work out. I, I think actually there is uh, some bearish pressure here that would push it lower. Just saying that a bullish reversal could be around the corner and could happen at one of these levels. I'm not 100% sure. That's why I'll keep an eye on price action and candlestick patterns for confirmation of any bounce because certainly it is in a very strong uh, downtrend at this moment. Well, not downtrend yet, but certainly there are a lot of indicators indicating bearish pressure to be very precise. Uh, on the weekly chart, we can see there's a lot of support here. HMA is already flat up. So it's a little bit of a tricky area. We also have we also have already three, six, eight weeks of price action going sideways, right? So that's getting into a zone where uh, a big consolidation is already taking place. Let's zoom into the four hour chart and uh, you can see price bounce off the S1. So if we get a break, yes, maybe a move down to the S2. And we could see, for instance, here a bigger A, B, C correction. And let's take a look at the hourly chart. All right, there we go. It's a little bit of a difficult pattern. It looks like ABC completed here. And uh, not sure about this piece. From a wave pattern, I think it's not too clear. On the one hour chart, on a four hour chart, I think this could be a bigger ABC correction like this. And we might see one more push lower here as already indicated before we get into a bouncing spot and we might see a move up. All right, so, but looking for candlestick patterns to confirm that. If we get a daily candle, that closes, you know, we get a huge daily candle, for instance, all the way down here, like this. And the daily candle closes very near the low, and we don't have hardly any wick at the bottom. Well, that changes things, of course. In that case, don't expect to bounce. And if anything, that looks like a breakout candle, or maybe it isn't a breakout because it hasn't broken this bottom, but it certainly is a very bearish indication. And I think that typically a, sh a shallow correction of that candle uh, and we should um, basically, in that case, see a continuation lower, all right, if we get a candle like that. So keep an eye on the daily candle. Uh, keep an eye on how price responds to these support levels, and we should know a lot more by the end of the day. Also, of course, the weekly candle will be important at the end of the week. We'll analyze that on the weekend, and we'll have a new video to discuss that. Now, otherwise, from a... Basically, from a trading perspective, there could be a potential short here even for that small move down. But uh, yeah, that is not much space, maybe maybe 30, maybe 60, maybe 100 pips. So it's more for intraday trading. It's more maybe a setup for an hourly chart. All right, regarding the pound dollar, uh, pretty much the same story, except that it is already challenging the support zone right here. Bit of a wick on the daily candle, just like the euro dollar, by the way. Both have a little bit wick at the bottom. Same here with the pound. If we, we see MACD momentum come in, so if we see, again, a strong daily candle like this, we should have a very, very strong weekly candle. And then next week, I think it would be great to look for a small retracement and continuation on the pound dollar. All right, so that could be an interesting setup for the pound. The pound is a little bit different than the euro. It doesn't have a massive consolidation. It just has a little bit of a correction here. All in all, with a pretty strong downtrend. So I think the pound is looking a little bit more bearish. We also had a clear break below the 21 EMA already on the daily chart. 
So I think that this uh, is, is looking good. This is looking like a wave four to me, because if you look at the hourly chart, the wave pattern is perhaps a little bit clearer, more clear, because we have wave one, two, this is looking like a wave three. This is looking more like a wave four and down we go for wave five. So I think that looks a little bit more structured in, in my point of view. Uh, anyhow, back to four hour chart. There we go. It could still be an overall bigger correction with this being a W, this being an X, and here going up for Y if we get a bounce here and a rejection, no no downside basically. We have two, four, five. This is the sixth candle, so it could perhaps happen that we get a kind of a rally here instead of the expected breakout. Got to be careful of that. Keep an eye on, uh, on candlestick patterns in here and the break of either this bottom or this top for either a reversal breakout or with the trend breakout. Looking for four hour candles to push below the HMA, push below the bottom here, hook back and continue for instance for some potential setups this week. But as I said, maybe the best setup is actually next week. Let this weekly candle finish, let it prove that it's very bearish and then wait for pullback and continuation next week. Uh, if it does bounce here, then we might be looking at that bigger ABC, ABC, and then again, ABC for upside. All right, so pretty important zone. In that case, this was an ABC rather than a one, two, three, right? Whereas if we get a, a break, pullback continue, then this is probably looking like a wave five. It could be extended because the momentum is pretty strong here. So I wouldn't be surprised to see a, a continuation of that channel for, for uh, you know, uh, maybe some, uh, one lower low or perhaps two lower lows uh, and then eventually we'll get some kind of correction as the week ends and we should have uh, at the end of the week a pretty bearish uh, we weekly candle all right with a high here an open somewhere here the low may be somewhere here and uh, or here and the close somewhere here so that could be a pretty big weekly candle as you can see look for a bit of retracement next week and then a follow through uh, as well, all right? So maybe a little bit of a lower low left in the pound dollar for this week. A few pips here still on an intraday time frame like the euro dollar is possible if we get a, a break flag pattern and continuation, all right? If we don't get it and you see price moving up pretty quickly, then that's uh, an indication of a, of a potential reversal, all right? Whereas if we get break flag, and then a break, we get a strong chance of a continuation. And then if we get that, keep an eye on that weekly candle at the end of the week. All right, that's it for now. We have, of course, a new video coming up on the weekend. Thanks for joining this. Was glad to be here with you. And check out more free analysis at EliteCurrency.com. Wish you all great trading. Cheers.